Um, do you know how you get salmon roe? Uh, kill a salmon and rip out the eggs? No, you can only get it from salmon that are swimming upstream. Really? Yeah, because they're swimming upstream to spawn. I mean, I understand. Ah! I understand. I'm getting washed away. Oh, oh boy. I understand that, but at the same time, pregnant salmon still swim in tepid waters. Maybe like a bear. Yeah, I, I, like I watch you. I watch too much of that show, and it's affecting me personally. You've killed so many bears. I think there's souls. We need to stop the bear TV show. It's making kids think they can catch salmon by standing in a riverbank. <laughs> oh, 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 he was close. Ah! <laughs> You'll get it one of these days. Oh, there's two! Watch the skies, ah! Charlie. <laughs> he was family. coming to see his family. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple that was here. <laughs> Don't cover your mouth! Are you okay? That's a question I have asked myself for weeks now. Am I all right? Will she be all right? Was it wrong to come here? That wasn't an existential question. She's modded, I can tell. Do you know how I can tell? Because she's not one of three female voices in oh. Skyrim. Okay. War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. Yeah, yeah, you guys get a cemetery. Dengir deserves more respect than his nephew, Jarl Sidgir, affords him. Uh, so you tend this graveyard alone, huh? Oh, merciful R.K., no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kost is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. This, this pot's having some problems. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Yeah, we can do that. Blessing of R.K. to you for your help. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. Can I... I'm gonna do something really quick, though. Put that down. I will, I will put it down. I'm gonna put it down right over here. Shit. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit, come on! Oh, my God. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Come on, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. all right, all right. Everyone, back up. Everyone, back up. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have some fun just for a minute. Uh, huh? Good old egg pot. Oh, man, egg pot's my favorite game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't really count. That doesn't. That you doesn't, stepped over the line. That doesn't really count. I wasn't trying to move that far forward. Put we, that down. Huh? <laughs> We want a pitcher, <laughs> not a belly itcher. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I gotta get, maybe I gotta get like, ooh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It went behind the cabinet. Oh, throw oh it came out. Okay. <laughs> you were having way too much fun throwing right, eggs into right, a all right, all right, pot. All right, all right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I just had to get a better. I had to get a better. I... Fuck sake. <laughs> huh? It just doesn't have enough momentum. All right, fine. We'll put the fucking egg back. Oh, I think we cracked it. Oh! And it fell behind that dresser. We'll have fun cleaning that up two months from now when your house smells like sulfur. Oh, don't worry. It'll come out here. It's like, this is like a gachapon machine. Nope, it's rotting back there. Any second now. <laughs> Any minute now. And now. It's, it's not coming out, is it? Oh, no. That is stuck. Oh, no, I'm making it worse. I'm making it You're worse. You're making a salad behind his dresser. <laughs> All right. We'll put, let's, let's get out of here before we make anything even worse. There it is. Two. Okay, anyway. That's enough of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Mongolian throat singers of Skyrim. No, that would be... Uh, <clears throat> hang on. Do free bird. Is someone there? Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no! Come on. One guy. I think we can deal with one necromancer. I don't want to get one guide. Those yeah. robes look extremely <gasps> flammable. <laughs> Janessa just runs up and fucking slays him. Okay, never mind. I, I love you, Janessa. Oh no, you don't. Ah! She's you like, no, you don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's going in an armor. That's. Uh... Oh, that was a. That was a, that was a... Oh, it's to protect its vital organs, I'm sure. Yeah. Do you hear a, a song? 
Is it uh, a mermaid luring sailors to their death? I don't know how they would be doing that inside a cave, but maybe. An ice cave troll mermaid. It's beautiful, actually. <laughs> what is the ogre singing that? <laughs> The Flesh Colossus! Ah, that will set his flesh on fire! Okay, now he's here. Enough yeah. This. Hey, look, a journal! Easily blocked. Oh, spell tone, go. Amber, Rose of Minor Conjuration, a pretty stole gem. Who is talking? Please stop. Hey! Oh my, aren't we the testy one? Not the gallant, unflappable hero I imagined. Until next time. Okay, bye! Yep, you just stay there. I'm sure we'll come back for you later. Someone yeah, we'll come back in a minute. Unless we forget. Ah, crocodile! Ow! Only a fool lets himself get surrounded. Dead. And this, uh... posing skeleton to assert dominance. Yep. Um, okay, so we have completed that. Mm -hmm. And now we go to... We return the journal and speak to Syndic. Yes. Uh, dead man's what was that? The gods. Oh God! Come on! Uh, we can probably ignore that one. The town's probably got it, right? No, the town doesn't have it. Don't, don't set the building on fire, chicken! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my God! Our insurance rates are gonna skyrocket. Letting that house on fire to draw the dragon in—a beautiful plan, oh chicken. Oh my God! It landed in a graveyard. Good, because that's where its body's gonna be after I kill it. What a benevolent dragon! It's gonna kill people in the graveyard, so we don't have to transport the bodies. And you uh, bastard! <laughs> get back here! Ah! Why is my dragon such a pain in the ass? Oh, he's landed. There we go. And he's taken off again. All right, bye. You cheeky little fucker! <laughs> Perfect. Get him! Get him! Get, get him. him! Shoot him with arrows! <laughs> you asshole! It may be dead now, but where did it come from? And seen it. Oh no 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 no! Not again! Hey, not again! Not again! It. Not again! I don't like it when this happens. <laughs> Better in than out. I always oh, say. Uh, I've never seen such a thing. It's like drinking expired milk. <laughs> Staying safe, I hope. <laughs> so do what I can, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need a drink after this. To the bar. I need a nap. Show respect while you're here. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. I will be fine. I need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. This is your room you'll have to share. Is this my room? <laughs> With two other people. <laughs> All right, well, I guess Excuse I'm- Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, the but- The do you um, want? Have you got a moment to talk? About our Lord and Savior, Daedra Christ? <laughs> talk to the arrow! Well, that was kind of unnecessary. Do the child too. Have you got a moment to talk? Stop trying to flirt with me! Flirt? Uh, no, I... Uh, that wasn't my intention. Not at all. I just meant I have a proposition for you. That's Stop trying to propose me for sex! <laughs> no, not that kind of proposition. I, I meant I'd like to do business with you. Uh, not like that. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more the hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? Handsome. Well acquainted with the less savory side of Skyrim? Because I'm disgusting? Because I haven't bathed in several days. Because I just killed a dragon! What do you need help with?! I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition. Academic, mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the uh, architecture, uh, the politics. Uh, uh, I'm trapped in this is, conversation! Not much for no way out! No way out! I have a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Great! Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Absolutely not. I don't do babysitting. Oh, certainly not. All I'm asking is for you to let me tag along. I'm, of course, willing to compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. 
That's out of the question. Uh, you're certain? Well, I suppose that's fair enough. I'll see who else comes along. Good. Bye. Excuse me. I, Excuse I me. think we should take him. I... Why? So you can hear, uh, oh, Excuse me, again. sir. I just I really would like to eat mind. the shit that I found on the side of the road. Please, please, can I eat the shit? Every five seconds. Oh, it's you again. See? I this is what I mean. <laughs> you, want, you want to bring this with us? No, I was lying. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't think you would have the tolerance for it. I would probably lose my mind. <laughs> Janessa's gonna fucking gut me in my sleep if I do this. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll bring him. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And when it inevitably goes poorly, we'll kill him and use him as bait so that I can catch Sam and Roe. I... Oh, it's you again. I don't suppose you've changed your mind. You're coming with us. Oh, splendid. Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. By the way, my name is... <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Lead on. That should be very easy for you to say, mister. My mouth is filled with spit. <laughs> ah! God damn it! You apologize to that man right now. Fine, I'm sorry your mouth is filled with spit. <laughs> That's better. It wasn't even an apology. I just said, I'm sorry your mouth is filled with spit. <laughs> Better apologize to that man, or Khajiit will gut you with his knife. Please, you'd be doing me a favor. <laughs> Please, I want to die. <laughs> oh, great! Those dragon villains are just gonna be there now. <laughs> Everyone, drag it to the graveyard. This item is too heavy to carry. <laughs> Hello. Kust is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. I don't know where that person is, but hello. I have a journal. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promise you this. Well, don't forget I'm in a cave. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Hello, friend. Hello. What are you doing that for? It's fun to put things in a pot. And then we dump it over his head like a Gatorade bottle. No. All right, away we go. Good to see you. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, yeah, the young girl who runs around here, your daughter? Henrietta, my baby girl. Bright, talented, and just enough of her father's courage to be brave without being fearless. She complains a lot, too, but I forgive her. She must get that from her mother. Which part? The ugliness! The complaining part. I think I've earned the right. No, you haven't. You stayed in Falkreath? Yes, I plan to stay here with my daughter until Arcade bid me leave. I've already arranged for a plot of land, away from the trees, where the stone faces east. Sounds like a wonderful spot. Thank you. It's funny, when they told me about the Grand Cemetery at Falkreath, I was so worried it might be too large. I feared Henrietta wouldn't be able to find my headstone. But when we got here, I was relieved. The graveyard is so cozy, and the priest is a kind man. You know he murdered people. You sound ready to die. I am. Great. I was afraid to die before, not knowing what would become of my daughter. I thought she would end up lost and alone, a child few people noticed and nobody oh, wanted. Oh, that's why she's going to anew. Now my heart is filled with more trivial concerns, and I often forget how lucky I am to have them. What sort of concerns do you have? Like how much money you're going to get for your daughter when you sell her into slavery? I am worried she'll forget me. She's just a child, and the memories she has now will soon be replaced. I know when she's older, she'll remember Indara as her real mother. It's wrong to think so, but it almost makes me jealous. I just want to be a part of her life, even when I'm gone. Send a Polaroid with her! Commission a painting. A, a Dwemer Polaroid! Oh wait, you can't, you can't commission a painting, cause you're poor! <laughs> Jeez, rub that in her face, just like the dirt got rubbed in her face. Yeah. Is there anything you could do to help her remember? Uh, you could brand her on her forehead! Then That way she'll never forget. Well, these last few days, I've tried to tell her all the little things. The stuff she won't understand until she's older. How to brush her hair. How to tell when a man lies. The perfect recipe for apple cabbage soup. I'm confused about the, 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 she won't remember until she's older and then brushing her hair. <laughs> also, women lie too. When I talk to her now, all my words float by like... Like tears in the rain. Like dandelion clocks on the wind. Like they were meticulously subtitled. 
Ah, it's better this way. I know it sounds selfish, but she is my daughter. I want to be a part of her life, even in death. But thank you anyway. What are those things on your belt for? They're kunai. Oh, me. Okay, goodbye. A sad time. We saw you in the cemetery. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tent venter. The, the mill is running itself. Is that one of them self-running mills? I <laughs> it's heard. One of the very many ghosts inhabiting the region. Ah, yes, there are a lot of ghosts. How'd she die? He ripped her apart. The, it, ooh, like a goodness. saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. Who did that? Sending. Who came true as a laborer? Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. Got a cage. What could drive a man to do something like this? I guess we could ask him and find out. Uh, good day and I'm sorry for your loss. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Uh, a maniac. That's who does that. Let's go visit the prison and interrogate this man. So I heard there was a guy that got arrested for killing people. For a dragon to attack Kynes Grove. Why? Why oh, there? The dragon attacked Is here no too. no place safe? The dragon attacked outside too. I really like that cape. Can I have one? It's really nice. Can I? Oh man. Oh, we should have let the dragon tear this place apart. Oh, we should have done that. Then we could have did. We could have just taken. Oh, maybe the dragon did kill one of them. Maybe. Ooh, I'll have to go poke around see if I can find one. Yeah, scavenge for corpses. Yeah. The second I get out. Terribly sorry. <laughs> You're get lucky I'm locked in here. Look, you got another prison bitch. Need something? You have a prison bitch too. It's that guy. You're lucky I'm locked in here. <laughs> You're lucky I'm locked in here. We go speak to this guy. Hey, come up here. I want to talk to you. Damn, you are ripped though. Hey. Come to gawk at the monster. Uh, here you attack a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. Uh-huh. I tried to tell them, but none of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. What do you mean transformations? But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. Ah, so you're a vampire. Got it. It doesn't seem like a vampire, because if it was a vampire, then he would have just drained her of blood. Well, maybe he was a very aggressive vampire. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. Oh, werewolf! A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. I, I already gathered that. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Why didn't you just go kill a deer or something, dude? I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. How did she taste? The fuck kind of a question is that? I don't know. I'm not a cannibal. I'm curious. I've been looking for a way to appease her scene. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large. Majestic. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my... accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. All right, fine, I'll take the ring to him. Not for you, though. You would do this for me? No, not for you! Here, take it. I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. I don't know why I'm doing something for a person who's an allegory for a thing. Oh, he's a werewolf. 
we, we already knew that. Yeah. We did. We did already know that. But oh, oh, uh oh. Hey, uh, guys, guys, guys. The were the werewolf. Oh uh, boy. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Werewolf. Just a All right, fine. We'll go handle it. We'll go handle it. You. You were talking to that murderous savage, and then he escaped. What yep. are you hiding? How is the guy inside so oblivious, but the guy outside is so perceptive? Yeah. We probably should. Hey! <laughs> Yo! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this makes me happy. Oh, that cape looks cool. I like bad. it. Yeah, it looks I good. like that cape. All right, off we go to kill a vampire. Werewolf. <laughs> Why did I say vampire? Because I said vampire. You said vampire and I got stuck in my head. The wrong information's in there now. Wait, can you can you be a vampire and a werewolf? Can you be a were-vampire? I feel like those have got to be mutually exclusive, right? I feel like if you're a vampire, something about the vampirism means that you cannot become a werewolf, right? So, just to recap, dragon necromancers are a thing now. Am I the only one who finds that highly, highly concerning? Do you, do you think that maybe werewolves were just like the this old world explanation for why women get cranky once a month? I, I suppose to be a werewolf, you need to have werewolf blood, and you can't have vampire blood and werewolf blood in the same body, because that's just too much blood. If you inject werewolf blood into half one side of your body, and then vampire blood into the other half, do they fight for dominance, or you do you become do you become a, a half vampire, half werewolf? Well, maybe you become a were vampire, where every full moon you turn into a vampire. Oh, oh, it's the beast! No, I will not kill the beast. Wait, the werewolf wants us to go kill an elk? How is no! that? How is that gonna solve anything? How will that fix a goddamn thing? He's a werewolf. I wholeheartedly refuse to kill the great beast. Oh, what if it's not actually an innocent elk? What if it's a Daedra? That oh, yeah. What if it is a Daedra? That's a that's a fair thing. All right, we so we're, we're, we're perfectly justified killing random wildlife. We're gonna track this great beast down like the ancients used to hunt animals, which is follow it until it gets exhausted and dies. <laughs> yeah, how's it feel to not have sweat glands? Must suck. I feel bad about this, but I'm just gonna tell myself that it's a Daedra in disguise. And also, it's got plenty of meat inside. Damn, my shot. Get the meat before it falls off oh, the cliff. Oh no, I don't want to capture no, it. So, no, uh, oh, oh, oh my. Uh, you don't want your body back, do you? <laughs> that's, that's long gone. Well met, Hunter. <laughs> hi. Uh, I, hi, didn't I just kill you? And skillfully, too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. Uh, you're gonna push me off the cliff. You may <laughs> even be my champion. Help. Perhaps. Hersene, uh, Dr. Hersene, I presume. I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls Hersene. What would you ask of me? Your fealty is precious to me. I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. Place it in my spleen. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. It shall be done as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. So the beast told us to go kill a great beast, and then that beast was a ghost that told us to go kill a different beast. The first um, beast. I, I want to make sure I use every part of the body. Oh, boy. Use the other trampoline by jumping off it. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came... Okay, yeah, we're not keeping this guy anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, glorious, glorious white stag. I'm so, why do you have a silver ring? But it always really irritated me when I was when I was younger. People that would just sing for no reason. Eh, sure. For 
Excuse me? Never Hello? Come. Oh, okay, alright, never should've come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're passing past you. Well, you're certainly a big old chap, aren't you? I didn't suppose you'd like to sit down and work for a cup of tea. Shush! I can't I didn't think so. I found a book on vampires in that camp of bandits. A book on vampires? Yeah, apparently there's a paragraph on vampire blood in here. And it turns out that uh, vampire blood and werewolf blood cannot coexist. Oh! And if a vampire gets injected with werewolf blood, they become a werewolf. But if a werewolf gets injected with vampire blood, the opposite happens. Weird. I just like, man, I just like animals too much. I don't want to hurt animals. Oh, oh you're a big boy. Oh, it's a, what the? That... Look at the size of this thing. I thought it was a boar. It's not a boar at all. It's a fuzzy rhinoceros. Yeah. What is it? Come on. Ow, oh my God. <laughs> God. Territorial. <laughs> <laughs> How's your puncture wound doing? Uh, I love animals too much. Three seconds later, I'm getting impaled. <laughs> animals do not love you back. No. So, is this where the beast is going to be? Uh, he dropped. He dropped in here and killed. Well, okay. So these were all the people. Has that... the blood moon called you, fellow hunter? The, uh, no, it is not my time of the month. Thank you. The prey is strong, stronger than the hunters, but more will Ooh, come. Seed. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hersin. Technically, he should have had a much harder time talking because one of the effects of blood loss is that you start hyperventilating. Yep, so we got a dead cat, dead orc, yep, okay, so... All right, well, so these people all showed up here. Uh, Hersin was like, yes, I also sent other hunters after him. Aha, uh -huh. kill him if you can before they do. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, they all died. I didn't say they were good hunters. <laughs> I'm a very bad Daedra. <laughs> I have yet to meet a good one. Well, where did they even come from? The bat's nest. I'm, not, I'm, so, I'm sorry. He's not a bad Daedra. You. Why? Um. Never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> That's weird that that voice is coming out of there, but all right. I've been told to kill you. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? <laughs> I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Hersing is too powerful. But if you spare me. Bird. I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise... To never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. Hmm. I don't know if we want to defy heresy. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. La last time we defied a Daedra who told us to kill a dog, and that worked out pretty well for us. Maybe we can defy this Daedra and let Sinding the werewolf. Nah. So be it. Oh, he is just going to. Th he's just going ham, isn't he? Great! All these guys are softening him up for us. Hopefully. If the dude was, like, living outside of town and minding his own business, and they were like, we have to kill the werewolf, and, like, he hadn't done anything, I would be I would be more inclined to be like... Never thought I'd see you again. Uh... Okay. Okay. How you, how you doing? Never thought I'd see you again. Well, that's um... odd. Oh. There we go. Okay, that one, it's fixed. <laughs> <clears throat> and now you're going to die, werewolf, for the oh. sins you've committed! Or we're going to die, because you're a fearsome foe! Oh. Oh. Nope, never mind. Nope. Oh. I just tank it. I just face tank all that damage and turn him into a pincushion. Must be the ebony armor. Yep. And I rip his skin. You've Whoa. done well, Hunter. I, I did it. I have done as you asked. You wanted to die, right? And found my favor. That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Thanks! Savior's Hide increases magic resistance by 15, increases poison resistance by 50. You, yo, you put his skin on, did you? Alright, well, that's werewolf skin for you. Uh, I don't like how swarthy this makes my chest. You, did you really have to take his face and make it the chest piece? I'm, I'm not the one that made the armor. That was that was her scene that did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> her scene does not have good fashion choices. All right, well, we have done it. 
Yep, we have uh Quest completed! Meeting a lot of Daedra out here. It's weird like how you don't you go years without seeing a Daedra and then suddenly you see two in like 48 hours. It's a crazy world we live in. <laughs> crazy world. I don't like how this quest makes me feel. <laughs> Let's go back to the graveyard and use your powers of necromancy and make a good ending for this. No, they didn't really have enough left. So, I mean, unless, oh, that's they, right. unless they want a living leg. The good news is we can bring your daughter back. The bad news is you've got to solve a jigsaw puzzle first. Ugh. <laughs> oh, baby, a silver amethyst ring. I don't know. I don't know anything, man. The vampire is his right-hand man. I don't, dude, I don't know anything. Fantasy games are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I am a true hero and very attractive. <laughs> what is this writing? <laughs> is there still one left? <laughs> Flavian! Flavian! Oh, you were, you were just getting a bug that was on his back, I see. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> cool. Gold doesn't go squ Yeah, gold doesn't make a noise like when I use the toilet. <laughs> yeah, gross. <laughs>